Shanghai's size and crowds can be intimidating to a newly arrived expat who is concerned about getting around town to go to work or even to visit a grocery store. Fortunately, the city offers a variety of transportation options for expatriates. Most expatriates perceive Shanghai's traffic as chaotic, confusing, and often dangerous when they arrive for the first time. Yet with a little bit of time, most expatriates learn to follow the flow. The city is divided into the east-west roads with east, middle, west sections and the north-south roads with north, middle, and south sections. East-west roads are usually named according to Chinese cities, for example, Beijing or Nanjing Road. North-south roads are usually named after Chinese provinces, for instance, Shangxi Road. All street signs are in pinyin and Chinese. It is unusual for expats living in Shanghai to drive themselves. The high cost of maintaining a car, the crowded streets, and the unique local driving make driving oneself less desirable. It is more common for expats to rent a car with a driver. Taxis are a convenient alternative to get around Shanghai. Currently, there are 43,000 taxis owned by seven different companies. The taxi companies can be distinguished by different colors of their cars. Generally, it is easy to catch a taxi, though rainy days and rush hour can mean you will wait longer. If you intend to use taxis at all, it is important to know the street name of your home as well as the nearest crossroad. House numbers are often long, and using them will not always help get you to the exact location. Knowing the nearest crossroad helps address this problem. To catch a taxi, be sure you are able to express your destination. Then position yourself on the correct side of the street and raise your hand to hail a taxi. An empty taxi can be recognized by the lit green sign on top of the car or on the dashboard. Once you are in the taxi, be sure that the driver starts the meter. Otherwise, he might try to charge you a much higher fare. Once you arrive at your destination, the driver will ask you if you want to pay by card or cash. The card is a Shanghai transportation card. Only if you pay by cash, the driver will put down the meter directly. If you pay with your transportation card, the driver will put your card on the meter. It is advisable to collect the receipt upon arrival in order to be able to call the taxi company in case you have forgotten something in the car. A Shanghai transportation card, which can be used to pay for taxis, is the same card that is required when using the subway. The card can be bought in every metro station for 20 RMB. Once you purchase a card, you need to charge it up. Metro fares range between three to seven RMB, depending on destination. In case you do not have your transportation card handy, you can purchase a single ticket at the self-service machine. The machine service is available in English. To enter the platform, simply hold your single ticket or transportation card on the scanner and walk through the turnstiles. Please be aware when you exit the platform and you bought a single ticket, you need to submit it rather than hold it over the scanner. The subway system is by far the quickest way to travel across Shanghai. Currently, there are eight metro lines in Shanghai connecting the different areas of the city. The main intersection metro station is at People's Square. Line one and two connect most areas in central Shanghai. Line one operates from 5:20 a.m. to 11:30 p.m., and line two operates from 6:30 a.m. to 11:30 p.m. Other lines run between 6 a.m. and 10:30. Trains are rarely delayed and usually arrive every three to five minutes. 1.8 million people use the metro every day in Shanghai. Rush hours can be very crowded. Whether you are driving yourself, taking a taxi, or using public transport, it is a good idea to plan your route and allow yourself plenty of time, especially during rush hour. Your relocation consultant can accompany you on a short subway ride to show you how to purchase and validate cards or tickets. Though intimidating at first, a bit of experience can make it much more comfortable to get around Shanghai and start enjoying your expat adventure.